We spent some time talking about this with David Ortiz uh, taking his uh, final curtain call Thursday at Yankee Stadium. We wondered who was more valuable to their respective franchises, Derek Jeter or Big Poppy. And I think initially you think Derek Jeter, but the more you think about it with what Big Poppy's done with three World Series titles, they wouldn't have won those titles without him. And probably the most feared batter, you would think, in the last 15 years is Big Poppy. So uh, we reached out to Kurt Schilling and uh, his former teammate, and he joins us now. Kurt, could you be objective when you look at that? Who's been more valuable to their franchise, Jeter or uh, Big Poppy? Yeah, but let me just first off say, bringing me into with Rush in the background, was that fired me up a little bit. <laughs> that, was, that was a, an outstanding call Good. the producer. Good. Um, so you you said you can or can't be objective? Oh, yeah, I think I can. I, I think because listen, here's the thing that people don't understand when you, you have to preface this conversation with you know it's like comparing um, you know Luke Gehrig to Babe Ruth. When you talk about one being better than the other one, it's on the level of Hall of Fameness, right? Yes. So you're not saying the other one isn't valuable. It's just a different kind of value. But when you, I think when you look at um, Derek and his value to the Yankees. So, so a lot of people don't understand. He was good, right? He was really, really good. This guy hit 310 over what a 20 year career. You know that that that's that's way beyond just being good. You know, my only I, I guess you'd call it beef with with the people that talk about Derek's careers. I always thought he was a and again within Hall of Fame perspective, I never thought he was an above uh, an average defender. Um, I think that that was part of his game that was very overrated. Uh, I think the gold gloves were, I think, in, in, indicative of that. But again, you're talking about being overrated on a very good level. But, you know, you look at his, his career averages, you know, he was averaging like 15 and 80 uh, over his career, uh, you know, home runs and RBIs. And he had, I think, almost 160 games in the postseason, and he had 20 homers. He, he was a guy who stepped it up. Now, that, that's not every postseason, but you look at – a majority of his postseasons, except for '01, when um, you know he, he had some issues hitting the big lefty, but uh, um, he was clutch. Um, and, but but I look at him as someone who carried on the Yankee the Yankee thing, right? I mean, them winning it wasn't like oh my god, the Yankees won a World Series. It was okay. Here comes more of the same, and that's not a bad thing. But I think when you look at the core four with him and Posada. Uh, you know, and uh, Rivera and Pettit, um, you know, I think they were each involved in that. And then you sw- switch over to David, and, you know, if you look at David's postseason numbers, David didn't hit, didn't hit 300 in the postseason. But, like, uh, you look at 2013, he had, <laughs> uh, I think, two hits against Detroit in the ALCS. One of them was a grand slam, and the one that won the World Series. He was as timely as any player I've ever played with, and he, I know it makes the sabermetricians mad, but he was, in my mind, uh, I never saw anybody more clutch than him. Um, but you have, I think Derek finished in the top ten in MVP like eight times in his career, which is impressive. David finished in the top five five years in a row. When you look at that run from, from uh, 03 to, to 07, two World Series, David was next to Manny, and think about that. David and Manny were hitting back to back at that time. Um, he was as clutch as they come, but David helped change the narrative, right? I mean, David comes here, and you know the Red Sox are the the lovable losers, and and all the things that go with that. And and David steps on the stage in '03, and then from '04 to now, he's been who he's been. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience. 